Hi everyone. Cooking something special for dinner on a weekday is exciting, but we aren't able to eat together like how we have our meals on weekends. Weekdays are super busy days especially for kids. They go to school, come back from school, they have tuitions, coaching and it's almost time for bed. But still that doesn't stop me sometimes to cook their favorite meals. My brother always talk about the steak my sister-in-law had made at home and ever since then I wanted to take the recipe from her and cook at home. Though I have eaten out, I have never cooked at home. And unfortunately couldn't get the proper piece of meat to prepare. We'll have to hunt for that later. Anyway, finally ended up making meat patties with mashed potato and stir-fried veggies. Starting with meat patties, slice the sides of 5 milk bread and then make in small cubes add that to a large mixing bowl now soak the bread in some warm water and let that sit for 5 or 6 minutes make sure all the bread pieces are soaked enough in the warm water i took around half cup and a little more to add Meanwhile prepping the rest. This recipe needs the least ingredients and I'm keeping it mild not adding a lot of spices. I chopped three large garlic cloves then took a handful of parsley and chopped that as well. The bread pieces are now soft. Just crush them with the back of your spoon. Mash it well. Then goes in minced meat. You can use lamb, beef or even minced chicken. It's up to you. Goes in one egg, the chopped garlic and parsley. Now season with some salt and pepper. Mix together and do not over mix. Keep that aside for some time. Now for the stir fry I bought few vegetables that I usually don't buy often. One of them was the Brussels sprouts. I had seen a video of Gordon Ramsay where he suggested to remove the outer leaf of each before slicing in half. I need to cook the Brussels sprouts for just 3 minutes and in the same water I will be cooking the potatoes for making mashed potatoes. So I used a bigger vessel for boiling water. I need to be quick when the water boils because soon after 3 minutes of cooking the sprouts I need to add the potatoes to cook them. I took 4 large potatoes, peeled and then cubed. Once this is taken out, I added the potatoes and cooked till done. Now to make creamy mashed potatoes, I use milk. And to make it flavorful, I added 6 cloves of garlic into the milk. Just crush the garlic cloves and add to the pan. Here I added two cups milk, but the whole wasn't needed. 
वन एंड हाफ कप्स विल बी परफेक्ट फॉर दिस रेसिपी नाउ हीट बट यू डोंट हैव टू बॉइल द मिल्क now i won't say this is a healthy dinner because we use a lot of butter in the mashed potato and here instead of baking the patties i'm shallow frying and even to the stir fried veggies i'm adding some butter but once in a while these are some moments you remember and not count on calories especially when you hear compliments from your family it's good to the ears and soul and when it's from the kids and the expressions while having the food it's so heartwarming potatoes are ready drain the water and keep aside here the garlic milk is also ready now mash the potatoes with the masher or anything that you have pour the hot milk into the hot potatoes and mash again to make it creamy make sure you drain the milk to get rid of the garlic cloves add some salt and in goes enough butter to make it so flavorful the quantity of butter and salt depends on the taste you prefer so make sure you take a taste test before serving and this creamy tasty mashed potato is ready Now you may use an ice cream scoop to measure equal amount for the patties. Here I used a small ladle. Using an iron skillet is best for shallow frying. Add some olive oil. Dip your hands in cold water before making the patties. And shallow fry them. After every 3 or 4 minutes, make sure to flip them so that they evenly cook without burning. I added the slice of butter at the first and then for the later I skip. Now to stir fry the veggies heat some olive oil in a white pan add the mushrooms first i find mushrooms being soggy and ooze out a lot of water so frying them first till all the water evaporates helps to get rid of the water that will remain later cook till light brown then i added carrots broccoli and brussels sprouts drizzling some more oil
After a few minutes, adding the last set, that's baby corns and capsicum. To make it even more colorful, you may add red, yellow and orange capsicum. A small piece of butter to make it extra flavorful. Finely goes in salt and red chili flakes. Stir for a minute and this is done. Now this is an optional step. You may skip this if you want, but it tastes good. Just wipe the skillet to remove those extra bits and bobs. I have turned off the flame right now, but the pan is still hot. Add some olive oil and a piece of butter. Now turn on the flame and when the butter is fully melted, add 1 cup cooking cream. Season with some salt. Give a mix. Now add in the patties. Here I didn't cover the whole with the cream. If at all you want to completely immerse the patties in the cream, you may add some warm milk into the cream and increase the quantity. Heat this for a minute or two maximum on low flame and it's ready. Everyone come home late after their coaching and games. So here I have my dinner first. Kids come later from coaching after a while, they get fresh and have their dinner. Do try these recipes and enjoy with your family. The creamy mashed potatoes goes really well with the patties and also the veggies. If at all you want to make meatballs, you can do the same with the same ingredients I have shown for this. You may bake or shallow fry. Do let me know if you have tried these recipes and loved them. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.